Stoneworks is the biggest Minecraft role-playing server in the world, where the strong rule supreme and the weak are called. It's a server that tells the story of countless kingdoms and empires rising up to overtake the map and the inevitable betrayals that led to their downfall. For some reason I thought that it would be a good idea to start my own nation on the server. After years of the server being up, every nook and cranny of this world has been explored and most importantly claimed. And claims are the reason my journey on the server began. A friend of mine contacted me a while ago and told me that he had been playing on the server called Stoneworks. Him and some other players tried founding their own nation, Estonia. The only problem was that the land that they were building on was claimed by another mega nation, Anglunia. Claiming in this context means that they just say the land belongs to us and no one has the power to contest that claim. My friend agreed to become a vassal of Anglunia while keeping all their rights, like freedom to build as they want. And that exact right would be stripped away from them just weeks later by a tyrannical leader called Johnny Jackson. But Ostonia needed a strong ally to topple this mega nation, and that's where I come in. Great results can be achieved with small forces. Zanzu. But right now I have no force, so after a Discord announcement and vigorous screening of the participants, we had our team of elites. We needed to grow as fast as possible, else our nation would be stomped out before it could blossom. While taking a tour of Ostonia, we were informed that we couldn't set up camp right next to them, because Johnny was still heavily restricting where they could build. We received 10 diamonds and some iron as a gift from Estonia, which might seem like a lot, but you would need more than 3 diamonds just to brew 3 splash potions. Eventually, we just randomly picked this peninsula near Estonia as our new home. We hit the jackpot and someone before us had started constructing a wall which now would be ours. Because so many Minecraft features have been removed from the server to avoid lag, the only way to, for example, get gunpowder is to buy it via the admin shop, which takes coins, and those coins can be traded for with gold. A war usually costs millions of coins. Strengthened by some fine wine, we began grinding. I also lent myself a horse and a cow to jumpstart our new country, which we named Luxenstein. Our nation would go to war with 80 men and return with 81. So I come back to base after gathering materials and see a player in full diamond armor just chilling in the middle of the base. And I'm like, wow, someone has full diamond armor already. I naively sneak in respect and the guy attacks. Dude, I still think it's one of our guys, so I don't even seriously run for my life. Only when the guy has me down to half or hard do I run earnestly. At least until I run out of food. Tonwald, the guy in the full diamond armor, then proceeds to go on a rampage in our camp until no one is left alive. Remember how I said that every piece of land is already owned? That was the guy who had built our wall. I might be naive but not incompetent, so we grouped up with all our members, but before our fully geared main force could arrive, Tonwald got taken out by two of our scouts in iron armor, which doesn't inspire confidence in his PvP skills. After he had lost, he would sometimes visit our new blossoming town, demanding his stuff back, and when we didn't reply or just outright kill him, he would spout nonsense about him having like a large nation as his backer, and that they would come to destroy us, but we never took him seriously. Instead, we started a farm, built a community house and just continued grinding. Beta players would come by from time to time, telling us that we were squatting on someone's land, but we continued following the Sigma Trillionaire grind set. Too busy making my house look like a willy. Some of our guys started heavily researching alcohol, which has no use apart from making the game literally unplayable or gifting it to like ambassadors or something I guess. At least unless you mix it with Red Bull. Drink it, drink it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to the recruitment notice on my Discord server, an anti-Leo faction formed. The thought that the potions we had brewed and the diamond armor would suffice as defense was crushed when two bandits stood before our gates. 
You can pay gold to have a certain area of influence in which enemies can't attack you unless they declare war. And bandits are an exception to that rule. So I'm like, okay, better be nice to them. Hello, what's up? Instantly got shot with a power 5 bow, lost half of my health, and my right hand man got killed. The only thing I could do is to follow Sun Tzu's advice. The supreme art of war is to subdue the enemy without fighting. And I locked off. Apparently they were hired by someone who thought that I was going to ruin the roleplay of the server. I hadn't investigated this until now, but roleplaying on the server is serious business. There is a thriving market for books with, <clears throat> let's say, improper content. Stefan, someone from the Elite Squad, even tried out writing fan fiction of another guy. And dude, his book sold so well that people even asked for continuations. Dude, it's not unusual for people to get married on the server or do some adult talk, if you know what I mean. But I digress. The people of Luxenstein disliked the shape of my house, so I unfortunately had to destroy it. All the while, Tonwald, you know, the guy that originally owned this land, had built a fort right next to our base. For some reason, he trusted one of our guys, who simply created a way so we can get into his base in case he locks on again. Because the original owner of the land that we were on had been inactive for a while, we also had no problem claiming the peninsula. All the while, we continued to grind, and grind we did. We were ready for the war. But we couldn't declare war the usual way by writing a declaration of independence. That's boring. This needed to start with a big bang. Three days later, all the leaders of Anglunia, Estonia and Liechtenstein were invited to the Estonian keep to celebrate their partnership. Everything seemed fine. The local chat was filled oh with roleplay. <laughs> oh dear, oh heavenly blessed beauty whose inner beauty is simply oh. divine and everlasting. <laughs> this is how things should be. The food for the banquet was ready. Johnny was bossing around the people of Estonia as usual, enjoying his virtual power, enjoying his virtual date. <laughs> oh no, this is so cringe, dude, my eyes. It just so happened that there weren't enough seats for some Estonians and me. I also just happened to walk across a chimney that just happened to lead right to the room that was filled with a high-ranking Anglunian official. Everyone was slaughtered. Operation Red Wedding was a success. Well, apart from the fact that I got attacked and killed by one of my allies. And Agludia was freaking pissed. And if I mean pissed, I mean Russian kid level pissed. It didn't take them long to attack. Because the meeting was happening at 8am, only one of my guys could join the initial conflict. Eventually, we did retreat behind the walls of Estonia to brew pots, buy gear and use Estonia's illegal large-scale crack kitchen to farm XP for enchantments. The war would start in three days, which would enable the opposing sides to loot each other's chest and destroy each other's builds. Finally, on the day of the war, the Estonians apparently thought that it was a good idea to start clashing before our guys arrived and when we eventually entered the server, nearly instant disconnect. A queue with 100 people usually takes two hours, and by that time, the war would be over. Without our backup, Estonia stood no chance. In a last ditch effort, Estonia destroyed their own city and moved all the valuables to a secret stash. We eventually had to follow suit under the tyranny of the states who took advantage of our loss. But I will never regret any of it. Luxenstein is still alive by the way and fighting on the server, so I put their discord link in the description.